Horchatas. What's up, guys? My name is Dean Hebsher. Welcome to <laughs> the Clean Hamster Podcast. This is episode 126. I hope everyone's having a great day. Happy New Year. Happy 2022. Happy, oh my fucking God, I live in Ontario and COVID Omicron is taking over everyone's fucking life, so we're in lockdown again. And now my roommate can't go to the gym, which means, oh my God, he's going to start working out in the middle of our fucking living room again, which is going to make me want to buy a gun. A gun. So I can kill him and then me. It's like, fuck, you know? Oh, it's like, it's like, it's like, hey, man, enough is enough, bro. Doug Ford. <laughs> enough is enough, man. What the fuck, bitch? Also, I also have something else to say. You might know where I am. I'm at, I'm at Curtis's house. I'm looking after Kiwi. Jacob, Jenna, and Curtis went to uh, an antique market a few towns over. And uh, they didn't want to bring Kiwi because... It's a dog, right? You know, they're going to be antique shopping. They didn't want to bring Kiwi, which is great. So I have no problem looking after dogs you, and cats. You guys know me. I look after all my friends' animals. I love it. And it's great. I'm not really a high-maintenance kind of fella. And it was really sweet of them because they were like, we know you don't, you wouldn't want to do this. So do you want to do this? And I went, yeah. Because, man, my ADD would flare the fuck up if I was at an antique market. In fucking Hamilton, Ontario. Hamilton, Ontario, where I used to live. Hamilton, Ontario, where my dad was a newscaster for quite a while, and parents of other friends of mine in hockey and baseball and basketball coaches would talk to me about stuff my dad said on the fucking news like I gave a shit, or even knew. Saw your dad talking about, uh... Talking about what? I'm 11. Shut the fuck up. Literally, I remember being like, I remember going into grade six from grade five, and another teacher came into our class, and he went, nah, that's Mark Hebsher's kid. Look out, he's pretty opinionated. No, I'm not. I'm on Adderall. I'll say I speak when spoken to. You leave me alone. I'm losing weight by the second. And I won't be able to sleep tonight, because of too many milligrams. <laughs> There's just too many fucking milligrams. <sighs> Any hooser, I'm just chilling. Life's pretty good. I like looking after a sweet little dog. It's nice. You guys like my hat? I'm baby. Oh, shit. I shook the thing. Sorry. I'm just a small bean. I'm going to cover you in adulting sauce, pupper. <laughs> Bruh. I think I chose the fartiest couch to do the podcast on, but it's okay. Because it's not a couch. It's a chair. <sighs> so yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. New Year's was a fucking blast. I blacked out at like 10 p.m. I was here. I don't remember shit. I fell asleep on the couch, like that couch right there, and just was snoring. <laughs> I was just snoring, man. Oh. Okay, Dean, just figure it out. I was just snoring, and uh, hey, shut up. Love you, but shut up, please. Thank you. And then uh, here's what happens every single New Year's. It's fun, but the next day, New Year's Day, January 1st, is my father's birthday. So for the past forever, I've just been like hungover on my dad's birthday, and I, I'm like rushed awake to go meet him and my, and my other family members at like a restaurant, someone else's place for lunch, brunch, whatever, and I'm just fucking tardy, and I look and I smell, my mouth is like 100% fucking vodka, and it's just like, yeah, birthday dad, I didn't have time to wrap your gift because I'm fucking hammered, so, <laughs> but I gave him a nice gift, I gave him a nice jacket, and then I, uh, Went home, cleaned my room. Like, I don't know. It's just been fucking productive. Life's life's pretty good. Life's fine, I think. I, 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 def I definitely have merch coming soon, which is great. You guys are going to freak out. It'll be available for purchase on a website that will be launched hopefully later this month. And I know that's very exciting. And I'm trying to prove to my management team that it'll be worth it. 
because I do think it'll sell really well. I, the, the, the designer that I'm working with, we bounce ideas off of each other very well, and it's just like a natural collaboration, and it feels really good. So I think you guys are really going to like some of the stuff. Um, I, d I do need to spoil some of it, like, because I, I'm sure some of you guys are wondering, like, what is going to be on the t-shirts. I don't know. I know that there's a lot of day ones that I have who used to listen to this podcast, who started, still do, but, like, have, listen have been listening to it since before it was a video as well. It was only audio. I don't know if you remember, I used to tell a lot of stories about my stepmom, my former stepmom, who uh, was a garbage woman. <laughs> And there's a story that I told about her hiding in a shed. And I went into great detail about the way she hid in the shed. The way she hid in the shed was like, she was like keeping the door closed from the inside. And the way I knew she was doing that was because I literally saw like her hands like crested around the door from the inside. And I knew it because I saw her pink nail polish wrapped around the wooden door of the shed. There's a variation of that that's going to be... Um, Hand, hand drawn and put on a t-shirt like a creepy hand with pink nail polish like it's gonna look so fucking cool you guys are gonna freak out and i want her to see that but also i don't because she'd probably be like so i am entitled to some compensation and i'd be like compensate this you fucking whore <laughs> dean you can't say that oh i just did okay Ooh. Oh, I'm real scared. Oh, I'm so scared. No, I'm not. I'm awesome. Anyway. Oh, fuck, man. Life's good, though. I'm chilling. I'm so mossy. Chilling in this house. It's sick. Um, you know what I noticed, you guys? How come when you're sleeping in a bed... Uh... That isn't yours, and um, the person who you're sleeping next to owns a dog. How come the dog jumps on the bed and knows exactly where your fucking balls are every single time they jump on the bed? They just know, even though you're under the covers, <laughs> and they know exactly where to jam their fucking bony arm and paw right on your fucking sad little ball sack. Hey, I don't know if any dogs are listening. I know there's one right behind me, but I don't know if any dogs are listening to this. Okay, let me just get right here. Let me just put the camera back a little bit here. There we go. There's the star. Hi, Dean. I don't know if any dogs are listening to this, but I have a question. How come when I'm under the blankets, you know exactly where my balls are every time when you should not know where my balls are every time? And then... One of your longest, thickest hairs ends up right there, right there, right there in my eye, right there in my eye. And I guess it's been there since like, I don't know, 4 a.m. So then I wake up and I look in the mirror and my eye has been cherry red the whole time <laughs> and itchy. And you know where my balls are and you step on them as hard as you can, I guess, because you're excited because it's the morning and your masters are awake. Stop stepping on my balls and knowing where they are also, please. I'm under the covers. How do you know? How do you know where my fucking balls are when I'm under the covers? Every fucking dog knows exactly where my balls are when I'm under the blankets of, of their owner's bed. Stop knowing where my balls exactly are, please. That is for me to know and your master to find out and for you to never know and find out. But you know, but you know, you find them and you go mm, right there and I go, oh, <laughs> ah, like it fucking hurts. And then I'm like, God, my eyes itchy. And then I just pee fucking get it. I'm like, oh, that big hair with probably microscopic little fucking bugs on it was in my eyeball all night because you're allowed on the bed. It's tough to love a dog that you don't live with. That was a harsh thing to say. But like, there's just certain situations where you're like, ah, no, with the dog hi like you know what i mean you're like hi it's nice to meet you but i'm i'm here for something else you know that'll be i'll work on that that'll be something else one day 
<sighs> hey dogs, just be cats, you know? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dogs are cool. Everyone fucking shut up. Even though no one's talking to me or arguing with me right now. It's just me in a fucking house that isn't mine. It's fine. I really do like dogs. However, sometimes when they know exactly where my fucking balls are when I'm under the blankets of a bed. <gasps> fuck you. What else did I write down for this goddamn podcast? Um. Huh. Oh, this is so fucking crazy. So there's those dudes on TikTok who I keep fucking, I keep stitching. With. Stop touching the thing, Dean. You're such a fucking idiot. Useless fuck. What's up, you useless fuck? Okay, so here's the, those dudes. It's like good bro, bad bro. Those dudes. I'm not saying their name. They don't deserve any fucking, they're not getting promo from me. The only time they're getting promo from me is when I'm literally chirping the shit out of them on TikTok. It's the dude with the greasy fucking hair and the shit fucking mullet and the stupid ass. This guy. Mating strategy is to post objectifying photos of herself. So that she and then I stitch them all the time and I just make fun of them and then I get, oh, so many more views than them. So it's all good. I don't get it. I don't get what he's doing. And he and, and I've been talking about. This the idea of just dudes who have podcasts for so long now, and I know I'm a dude who has a podcast, but I'm funny. Like I fuck, come on. I tell you guys funny stories. I'm not just being like. So uh, I've been noticing on Tinder lately. Uh, there's a lack of rockets, and you're like Jesus Christ. And then like, it sucks because like I know some of the dudes that he has on the podcast. Like I went to school with some of them, and like I know they're better than that. But he, but like he just. The only thing I know about him is that, like, he used to just, like, go to, like, a lot of party schools and, like, make content there. And he's, like, burned a lot of bridges there. I don't I don't care to know his name. I don't give a fuck. But um, he's, like, <laughs> literally, he'll post a clip being, like, what's better, Queens or Western? And it's just, like, what are you guys, aren't you guys fucking, you have facial hair. You shouldn't be talking about schools. What are you talking about party schools? Stop talking about party schools. Stop talking about school. Man, post-secondary. Yeah, man, it, it exists. But it shouldn't for you anymore. Why is it still in your mind? Be quiet. But then, in the most hypocritical format, I was like, I was like, okay, there is something I noticed about... <laughs> so, like, shut up. Okay, Dean, shoot your whole point in the foot. <laughs> Easy. There is something I noticed. And I've had I've had this discussion two times. This is so like niche. I've had this discussion two times with uh with people that kind of know. What's up with super beautiful women who went to University of Western and having like head injuries from parties? <laughs> I've met like four, five. I've met five women who are drop dead gorgeous who went to western who just have a crazy story about how they like they like have like partial memory loss or like are deaf in one ear or like had like x amount of concussions in one year because they just partied like crazy like th something happened at a party to them there are <laughs> I need to know I need to know more I don't know what it is because I know that's a crazy party raging school I went there once for a party it was at my friend Lucas Waxman's fucking student house, and uh, and uh, Jewish, and obviously so like Western. And the second we got there, I slipped on a patch of ice, and all of my loose Keystone loggers went everywhere. And a bunch of girls were like, oh, "Are you okay?" And like didn't help me up, and I was like, "Fuck London, London, Ontario." Well, what's up with like super super duper gorgeous gorgeous girls? Having gone to Western and being like, yeah, like, I can't really hear out of this ear. <laughs> like, and I fell at a party and, like, if I get one more concussion, I could fucking die. And you're like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> you guys are nuts. I know. There's so many people being like, what the fuck is Dean talking about right now? But, like, it's true. So many super beautiful women who went to Western just have fucking conkies and, like, crazy head trauma from their wild partying days when they were, like, 20.
I don't know what it is. There's like, yeah, I fell off a balcony when I was 19. And you're like, what? <laughs> really? And you're like, yeah, Flip Cup gets crazy. And you're like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really going anywhere with that. But like, it's just something I'm, I've observed. Yeah, I remember that. I remember driving to uh to wet to to London, Ontario, in in a truck with my friend Mitch and my friend Evan, and it was winter and it was like in the middle of a snowstorm and like you'll do anything to go to a party when you're like nineteen or twenty, and I went to Humber so I was like, I, there's nothing going on here and I kind of want to see my friends from high school anyway so, I was in the passenger seat no I was in the middle seat of the truck like I always fucking am. And my friend was like, mate, this is fucked. My friend who was driving was like, was like making me like give him key bumps of cocaine while he was driving. He was like, here, just put the light on and fucking hold it up to my nose. And that's what it was. And that's what it was. That's what 2014 was like. LOL, cool. And then I think I woke up with like the mumps. I don't know. I just was like gross and swollen. After that disgusting party, because it was one of those parties where it was like, hey, where sh hey, where can we sleep? And it was like, it's a free for all, guys. We don't know anything. And we we're like, cool, that's great. I'll ball up my jeans and use it as a, <laughs> as a pillow. I don't know. Hey, this is too loud of a fucking couch. Really? Okay, also, the comments on TikToks, Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up. Like... I get it, but like, oh my god, it's so annoying. Dean, what is this? What? What the fuck do you think? It's TikTok. It's, it's anything you really want it to be. Keep scrolling. Bestie, are you okay? Blink twice. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Love you, but shut the fuck up. There are so many great TikToks that I wanted to talk to you guys about. That I wanted to TikTok to you guys. TikTok to you guys about. Get that margarita on the rat, rat, rat. Can I get so all around that? Bum, 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 Trey. I was like, yo, Trey. Do you think you can buy me a bottle of bro? Say, okay, let's get it now. I'm with a bad bitch. He with his friends. I'm gonna say, hi. I say, keys to the bins. Keys to the bins. Keys to the bins. If a bitch, if a bitch trying to get cute, I'm a snuff up. Okay. Uh. Hang on, I need to open the notes app because I wrote down six or seven more things that I want to chit-chat with you guys about. Hey, 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 what is hey, oh, 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 yeah. You guys remember that era of, uh, of teenage, of teenagehood, of adolescence, when uh, every girl and guy was like, no, it wasn't guys. When we were all like 16 or 17, every girl was like, my dad's so funny. <laughs> and it and he wasn't. He was just like the quirky, funny dad. Fun. He was a dad. He was just being a dad. And we were all ironically like, your dad's hilarious. I don't know. Like, some people are still like that. Sometimes I'm like that. I'm like, oh, my dad's fucking hilarious. He's not. He just is ironically. He just ironically he is. What we're doing is making fun of him. That's what it was for so many years. Like, so many of my friends from Dundas were just like, my dad's hilarious. It's like, not really. He's just, like, pretty distant and, like, high on weed. He's just, like, a quirky fucking in-and-out-of-the-house dad. And I think his feelings are hurt when, when we all leave the room because he's, like, kind of catching on that we're making fun of him. They're like, oh, my God, that's so Rick. <laughs> I think he's sad. Like, stop. <laughs> can I, all these teenage girls stop think, stop saying that their dad's so funny? I think he's just, like, weird and sad. And I think he's smart enough to catch on that you're being ironic about all this. You guys got to come over and hear my dad talk. It's crazy. Like, shit, shut up. What? What? Let's all ironically like my dad because he's from a different time. I don't know. I feel like so many dads, once they get alone, they're just like, I think my daughter and her friends were making fun of me. Can't be too sure, though. Guess I'll go to the garage and drink nine Molson Dries. Smoke a huge J. 
Pork my hefty wife. <laughs> Pork my hefty fucking wife. Pet the dog for 60 minutes. Watch 60 minutes. Maybe heat up some fucking chili. And then go to bed. I got a long day of being quirky tomorrow. I got a long day of being really, really quirky tomorrow for my daughter's weird fucking annoying friends who eat everything in sight and don't clean the... F and don't f close the fridge properly. And my son, don't even get him started. I'm just making... This is me. I'm going to do every... Every... In, this is every inner monologue of some small town, probably Dundas, Ontario, where I'm from, parents. And I love knowing that there's some people listening to this right now who can't wait to hear what I'm going to say. And there's also some people listening who are like, can he... What is this Pratanda? It's fucking not that fun. It's pretty, sure. It's a nice place to go look at some waterfalls. But I wouldn't raise my kid there. Huh. <laughs> Every dad. Oh my god, my daughter and all her fucking friends keep making fun of me a little bit to my face. And they don't think I know it, but I totally know it. And it's hurtful. Now my son isn't as athletic as I want him to be. I'm going to push him harder tomorrow to see if he's going to be athletic. I swear to God, if he ends up being an artist, I'm going to be really angry. Because I know deep down, I've always wanted to be an artist. But my dad screamed hockey into my face. How come he can't run track and field like his sister? <laughs> oh my God. God, boy, I sure am glad that I met my wife in sixth grade. <laughs> middle school sweethearts <laughs> uh small towns are so fucking lame now yeah, we'll go down to the lions club tonight and support i don't know fucking who gives a shit go down to the legion <laughs> get a beer <laughs> play darts <laughs> the fucking legion oh you're fucking funny guy eh fuck holy shit there bud fuck you're funny huh Oh, so you want to be a fucking comedian, eh? Fuck, I got one for you. So a fucking Jew walks into a bar. I'm going to stop you right there. That's how it goes every time. Literally, like, also, I couldn't shut up about wanting to be a comedian when I was 16 or 17. And also, like, you're just so opinionated at that age about nonsense, really. So I would just go around, like, you know, if... Friends of mine, if their parents would ask me, like, what are you going to do? Like, what are you going to do after high school? I'd be like, I'm going to try, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to try to be a comedian or an entertainer or an actor or something like that. I'd be like, oh, fucking holy shit. Diener's going to Hollywood. Holy hell. Fuck, man. Well, fuck. Before you get to fucking clown school, I got a couple jokes for you. Come here. So two black guys walk into a, oh, stop right there, please. Holy shit. Stop right there. What kind of jokes are you going to tell? Well, how the fuck am I supposed to answer that question? So what kind of fucking jokes are you going to tell, eh? Holy fuck, but you know, I actually never found you that funny. Are you sure that's going to work out? Just go. I'm just joking. You can use that. Wow. That's awesome. I'm so, hey, Kiwi, you okay? Holy fuck, bud. Hooting and hollering over there. Fucking barking your cahoons off. Holy shit. Oh, Diener's going to be a fucking funny man. Who the fuck you think you are? Steve Martin? Fuck. <laughs> Holy shit, Diener's gonna go up there and make a couple ha-has. I got two for you right here. Fuck you. <laughs> Holy fuck, bud. Did you hear Dean's fucking going on fucking tour? Fuck, man. When's the Netflix special coming out there, muchacho? Fuck. Holy fuck, man. You're actually not that bad. Pretty fucking funny stuff I saw up there. I got a couple good ones for you, though. Lean in. No. Shut the door, bud. I got a couple fucking racist ones for you. <laughs> no chance, dude. No fucking way, man. Holy fuck. I'm actually so I'm actually so fucking happy I graduated high school. You guys know how happy I am I graduated high school. I didn't think I was gonna do it. I didn't think I could do it. But I did it. Thanks a lot, applied classes. Thanks a lot, Miss Haygarth. Who else was there? Mr. Toth. Thanks, buddy. Toth. Sick guy. Guy was hilarious. One time someone asked him a question. This girl, I think her name was Julia. I think she asked him a question. And then she, and it was like a really long winded question. You know, one of those questions in a high school class where it's like, um, Mr. Meh, do you, um, when we, when we put the thing in there, do you want us to have like, um, 
this red like do you need the and like just f- um a, a mess of a question and i remember one time he was just like and i knew i knew what he was doing because he was a funny guy and like the whole time she was like getting through this question he was just like fuck hang on i need to do it fuck here we go come on right what julia what <laughs> and everyone started laughing so hard <laughs> He was like, you write it down, figure out what you want. And then, because I, I don't know, I don't know what you said. I don't know what you said, though. It was super funny. <laughs> but the way he put, he put both his hands on his hips and he went, mm-hmm. yeah, right. What? It was great. And that was at like 9.03 in the morning. And I was like, ah! I fucking love that shit. I love that stuff. Oh, my God. Do you guys remember that story I told you about my fucking business teacher, Miss Reynolds? There was a mentally challenged kid. There was a developmentally disabled kid who was in a a business class that I I was, I think, no, I was in it. Yeah. And like, fuck, this is, dude, this is the most dundas Ontario shit of all time. I hope this kid's okay. If he, he was, he was funny. I liked him. One time she leaned towards me and my friend Marshall and went, I'm getting paid an extra thou a month for this kid. She whispered that to two, like, 16-year-olds. And we were like, <laughs> right, like, whoa. That's really funny. But, oh, my God, so inappropriate to say to other students. Can you believe I'm getting paid an extra thou a month for this kid? What? That's so fucking crazy. <laughs> okay, man. Fuck. Ah. Oh. Oh. I'm trying to think of a... Oh, yeah. My friend Marshall reminded me of a really good story from a high school party the other day. There was this kid named... Do I say the names, man? Like, am I fucking... I know people are like, do it! Fuck it. This kid named Max. Jewish. Uh, nice house. He was having a fucking party one time. And, uh, there was this kid named Tom who Marshall would sometimes invite to parties. We don't know why. Because Tom, his first, like, uh, his first language was not English. And he was very awkward. But he was very big. Him and Marshall were the only two dudes who were, like, 6'5". I don't know. So, like, I guess they found comfort in each other. I don't know. I don't know. He was a weird guy. Harmless, but, like, just weird and awkward. So... He um, didn't bring alcohol to this one party. And I'm, Marshall suggested, go see if you can buy some liquor off of the part, like the host of the party, this kid, Max. And that's what he did. He was like, can I buy some liquor like out of your dad's liquor cabinet? And this kid, Max, was like, sure, whatever. This kid, Tom, bought a 60 of Bailey's. Bailey's, like liqueur, coffee liqueur. Walked around the party just drinking it. Room temp Baileys. Yuck. Drinking it. Drank all of it. And then ended up standing near the beer pong table. Big, beautiful glass. It's a Jewish kid, so it's a fucking nice dining room, obviously. Nice glass dining room table. You know, people playing beer pong, flip cup, whatever the fuck. Tom is getting tilty. He pukes up all of the Baileys he just drank. So hard that it washes away all the red cups. It like, <laughs> and everyone went, oh, he, he drank a 60 of Bailey. <laughs> it washed away the cups. And then Marshall was like, oh, I'll put him in a cab. I feel responsible. I invited him. And then a year after that, that Max kid uh, who had that party um, punched me in the face at a new year's party and i fell back into an empty hot tub it was the weirdest part i don't know i know i was sitting i don't know we were just like in like a garage i think yeah we were in a garage and there was an empty hot tub that was not in use drained of water and me and my friend evan were sitting on it and um this max kid caught wind that i had hooked up with his brother's ex 
who I still follow on Instagram. She's so fucking hot. It's insane. I'm like pissed that I, I'm like, pi- <sighs> how am I supposed to say this? Fuck it. I'm pissed that I had sex with this girl when I was 18 years old and she was also 18. I'm pissed that it happened then. I wish I want to do it again because I'm better. You know what I mean? I want to do it again because I'm better. I'm not going to say her name. She's She's been in relationships for so long with another man. But like, God damn it, I wasn't even good at sex then. And I think I'm I'm definitely I'm not great now, but I know I'm better now. And I wish I could have a fucking redo sometimes with a few people. Oh, boo hoo, Dean. I know. Anyway, he punched me because of that, and then I fell back, ass over fucking tea kettle, into an empty hot tub, and then he got kicked out of the party, and that was the last time I ever saw that guy. And also, like, it was like nine thirty. That's when you get to a party. That's when I got, I got punched. And then I just had to like hang out and be at the party for the rest of the night. Usually, usually that's the party. end. Like that's how you end a party. Is really, yeah, I got punched and left. No, I chilled. Frozen bag of peas on my face. Kept the swelling down. And people just saw like the evolution of a shiner just happened to me. It was fucking crazy. And that was it. And that was New Year's, I think, 2014 or whatever. Anyway, love you guys. Merch is coming soon. I hope you guys know that. Merch is coming soon. And I'm so fucking excited. And more tours are coming soon. And I don't know, maybe Jacob and Jenna and Curtis will be home soon. And I'm going to put this chair back where it belongs. And put all the fucking dishes in the right place. The ones that aren't dishwasher safe. Kiwi, you're being a good boy. Kiwi, come here. Kiwi. Kiwi, come here, come here, come say bye to everybody, come here, oh, the sun's coming out, come here, come here, come here, little boy, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. no, come here, come here, come here, where, where are you, come here, come here, crazy boy, come here, come on, god damn it. There you go, buddy. Come up here. Come hang out. Come say hi, buddy. Big yawn. Bye. I hope you guys have a wonderful 2022. Good boy. Bye.